Hello everyone, we have Mayuri with us today. So let's start with having a brief introduction about herself. Hi Muskan, first of all, thank you for calling me in here. And uh, like a brief introduction about myself, I'm Mayuri, currently a third year CAC undergrad student from NIT Patna. I'm a coding enthusiast. And uh, apart from that, my hobbies are sketching and painting. So that's it. That's pretty much it. Mayuri he is an upcoming intern at Atlassian. So Mayuri, was it an on-campus opportunity or an off-campus opportunity? Uh, it was an off-campus opportunity. Actually, it was a diversity hiring program from the Girls Script Foundation. And from there, I got up this opportunity. So Mayuri, what was the eligibility criteria for this particular thing? Or are there any college restrictions or anything? Uh, no, I don't think there are college restrictions for it. Even uh, students from CAC, EC, EE, and I think they could all apply to it. Like for the application yeah. procedure, what was the entire procedure? Uh, basically, I think that was a Google form or something. I'm not actually, mm -hmm. I don't remember it actually, but that was a normal thing. And I think almost all of them who applied for it, they got the test link. Test link, right? Yeah. Yeah. But there was one thing that the form got closed earlier, I think, like before the dates it was supposed to get closed on, it got closed. No, I'm not sure, actually. I'm yeah, sure actually, a few of my friends were not able to apply. So everyone who is watching this, like as soon as you get to know about an opportunity, just apply. Don't wait for the last. Yeah, date. the early bird catches the worm. That's true. Yeah, exactly. I think it closed one week before and... Uh, so yeah. maybe like even later they mentioned that they got a huge response from all the response, candidates yeah. okay so in the application procedure like there must be uh, the field for resume yeah i guess yeah but yeah, i don't so think you... resume selection is a very important criteria because like all of my friends who applied from the college each and everyone got the link so maybe yeah so after the application procedure everyone got the test link so what was the online assessment rounds like yeah, so the online assessment uh, round consisted of three coding questions. It was purely based on coding. And uh, I think we were given 90 minutes for solving three or four questions. I'm not actually remembering it right now. I think there were four of them. And uh, they were of almost medium difficulty level. Two of them were easy, actually. And the rest two covered, I think, graphs and DP. And I was able to solve approx 3.5 questions and I got selected for the next round. Okay, okay. So that is really nice. And are there any specific topics like graph and that is asked and like any specific topics other than these that are asked? That uh, like I add? don't think so because the first two questions were based on constructive algorithms. It was a basic maths question, the first one and the second one I think uh, was related to bit manipulation or something. And the rest to wear from graphs and DP. Again, not very hard of medium level. Okay, okay, fine. So after the coding assessment, uh, like, is there any other round apart from this? Uh, yeah, like once the results were declared for the online assessment round, like I was given a buffer of uh, five to seven days um, before my interviews were conducted. So for the interviews, there were two rounds. One was purely technical and the other was management and values round. Both of the interviews were conducted on the very same day. And in fact, I got the result later in the evening. OK, that is really nice. Like in one day, there's yeah. a lot happening. Yeah, okay. exactly. So can you elaborate on your interview experience? Like was it like the technical interview? Like what were the topics that were asked to you? What was the difficulty level in everything? Right. right. Uh, so for the technical round, uh, like I would tell my interviewer was a really cool person. Uh, he was so supportive that I I was able to perform my very best on that day. Uh, so like, first of all, he in fact uh, asked me which of the uh, topics I was taught in my college, like OOPS, DSA, um, operating system and all of that. Uh, then he began, with a, he began with a coding question. Uh, that was again of very medium difficulty level. And I was asked to choose my favorite uh, ID and code up the entire thing in that. Okay. And then like there were hard coded uh, inputs that I was told to test my code on. And then like for my case, I had some minor mistakes. So like he helped me uh, in debugging it and then we were able to come up on the solution. Uh, apart from that, I was asked some theory questions on OOPS and DSA. And then uh, like as I had mentioned operating system in my course. So there were a lot of questions from it. Uh, as you mentioned in your resume, like while the application procedure. 
uh, not in resume actually like when he started the interview in the initial part he asked me which all uh, subjects i was taught in my college hmm. so from that okay. he asked me a lot of questions from there yeah and any questions were asked based on your projects that you mentioned in your resume uh, no in this round i was not asked any questions regarding my project okay okay fine so this was all about the technical round. and what was the duration yeah. of the entire uh, interview uh like this technical round uh, lasted for about 50 minutes 50 minutes again it was very flexible uh, like in the starting he told me uh, we have no like fixed time constraint uh, a little bit plus and minus would do well okay and what was the platform wherein the this interview was conducted uh, so zoom was basically used for the video conferencing part and then like i was asked to open my favorite ide in whichever i was comfortable and then i was asked to share my screen yes. okay that's really nice because your the ide in which you are most comfortable yeah you're right? very comfortable <laughs> you can yeah exactly yeah actually okay so as you mentioned that the next round was non technical round so can you please elaborate your experience on that yeah so it was basically uh, an mnv round the management and the values round and it was a little bit difficult from the basic hr rounds that you have in different companies like it uh, majorly focused on what my uh, team management skills are how can i work as a team like with all the members and then at at lesson we have five core values and like the interviewer told me that okay all the questions that are asked and mapped to one or the other value and like you will be judged on the basis of that like how well you can fit to the culture of the company okay so those five values it is better if you know it beforehand only so that you are prepared yeah exactly there. it's better it's better if you uh, you know do some homework you read about them and you try to frame your answers regarding that mm -hmm. so that it will definitely give you a very upper edge in that case yeah so as you mentioned the five uh, things so it is mentioned in the website or something or is there any specific thing wherein they should go and yeah, see yeah. all of it actually when they provided me the link for the interview they even uh, provided mm -hmm. me that particular resource where i could read up on uh, all those values yeah okay actually this is a very common thing that i've seen even in amazon programs like when they give you the interview link they yeah. give you the link to their website wherein their leadership principles and everything is mentioned so exactly yeah. so that you are better prepared and perform your best yeah also before the hr interview i think you should read about the company because there might be many questions uh, regarding that So, yeah, yeah and you get to know the company as well uh, like you you can understand that if you resonate with their values their culture then you'll be a better fit for that yeah exactly apart from that i was asked uh, a few questions regarding my project how did i do it and then again yeah. some time management questions and then what was my approach to you know like learning a new thing and all of that uh then like i was given some hypothetical questions as well uh, regarding my project that okay if this happens what are you going to do how are you going to deal with it okay so you should be uh, very prepared on whatever projects you have done because they'll be asking you questions from it in very depth mm -hmm. yeah like i've seen many students uh, like get through all the coding interviews and everything and in the final hr round they are not able to answer these questions wherein their uh, like soft skills have to be tested so yeah, yeah i think exactly. this is more important than the coding rounds yeah you need to be a bit confident and well prepared on whatever you are going to present because ultimately at the end of the day it all matters what you bring to the table right okay so these were all the rounds that were there before you got the final selection yeah exactly yeah i wanted to ask one thing that uh, for resume i have asked that at lashan have a very rigorous procedure as far as the resume selection is concerned so any tips from your side for the resume that you like to give mm, i think you should be thorough with your skills whatever you have mentioned mm. there you need to know about those and like one personal suggestion that i was given by my interviewer he told me to like uh, work upon a bit more of projects uh, so that i have better things to showcase so that's it i think yeah. you should have hands on a lot of things that would help you to stand out 
Okay, so that were all the questions from my side. Any additional tips tips that you'd like to give to the girls who are planning to apply it in the upcoming year? Uh, one and the only thing I would like to mention is that you should be confident in whatever uh, you try, and then you should always be eager and open to all the opportunities that are provided to you. That might be your call, and you might be one of those to be present there next. That's yeah. all I wanted to add from my side. All the best, everyone. Yeah, thank you so much, Mayuri. I hope it helps a lot of girls who are planning to apply in the upcoming year. Thank you. Thank you for all this. Thank you.